Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on engineering mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss the topic of singular value decomposition. In particularly, we will see introduction to singular value decomposition of the matrix, existence of the singular value decomposition, how to obtain singular value decomposition, some examples and finally exercise. So let us proceed with first point introduction to singular value decomposition of the matrix. Any factorization of the matrix A of the type u into sigma into v transpose is called as singular value decomposition or SVD of A. That is any matrix A when written as u into sigma into v transpose this factorization of A is called as singular value decomposition of the matrix A. Note that here u and v are both orthogonal matrices. That means they satisfy the condition u into u transpose is equal to identity and v into v transpose is equal to identity. Sigma is m cross n diagonal matrix as shown in the following equation number 1. Here d is an r cross r diagonal matrix for some r not exceeding smaller of m and n where m is number of rows of a and n is number of columns of A. Note that if R equals M or N or both, some or all the zero matrices do not appear. These are those zero matrices. That means if order of D is same as M or N or both, then these zero matrices won't appear. Sigma is simply a diagonal matrix D. Next, we will see the existence of singular value decomposition for any matrix A. Guys, there is a theorem which states that if A is any m cross n matrix with rank R, then there exists an m cross n matrix sigma for which the diagonal entries in D are the first R singular values of A given by sigma 1 greater than or is equal to sigma 2 greater than or is equal to up to greater than or is equal to sigma R and all are greater than 0. And there exists an m cross m orthogonal matrix U and n cross n orthogonal matrix V such that A can be written as U into sigma into V transpose. We are not going to see proof of this theorem, but we are going to use this theorem to find SVD of given matrix A. Let us proceed for next point that is how to obtain singular value decomposition. We know SVD of A is given by U into sigma into V transpose. Now let us see first how to find out matrix sigma. Sigma is the m cross n matrix whose left diagonal entries are singular values of the matrix A. Sigma is the m cross n matrix whose left diagonal entries are the singular values of the matrix. Note that order of sigma is same as order of A. Now let us understand what are these singular values. Singular values of A are the square roots of the eigenvalues of A transpose into A or A into A transpose denoted by sigma 1, sigma 2 up to sigma r. That is sigma i is nothing but square root of lambda i and these singular values are arranged in decreasing order. So if you want to find out singular values of any matrix A, first find out matrix A transpose into A or A into A transpose then find eigenvalues of that matrix then take its square root you will get singular values of that matrix A. Next we will talk about matrix U. U is M cross M matrix. Note that M is same as number of rows of A whose column entries are U1, U2 dot 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 and these are orthogonal eigenvectors of A into A transpose. So if you want to find out U you first find out eigenvectors of A into A transpose and arrange them column wise to get matrix U. Next is matrix V. V is an n cross n matrix. Note that n is number of columns of matrix A whose column entries are V1, V2 and so on and they are orthogonal eigenvectors of A transpose into A. So if you want to find matrix V, first find eigenvectors of A transpose A and arrange them column wise in a matrix you will get matrix V. Note that you can find out matrix U if you have matrix V and vice versa. 
using the formulas ui is equal to 1 upon sigma i into a into vi or vi is equal to 1 upon sigma i into a transpose into ui. So you don't have to find out eigenvectors of both the matrices a into a transpose and a transpose into a. If you have eigenvectors of a into a transpose, you can find out matrix V using this formula, this one. And if you have eigenvectors of a transpose into a, you can find out matrix U using this formula. Now let us proceed for some examples. This is our first example. Here we are asked to find the singular value decomposition of the matrix A is equal to a square matrix with row wise entries 4, 4, minus 3, 3. Let us proceed for solution. First we compute matrix A transpose into A and the eigenvalues of this matrix A transpose into A. Assume A transpose into A is equal to this square matrix 25, 7, 7 and 25. Next we find characteristic equation of this matrix. It's given by lambda square minus 50 lambda plus 576 is equal to 0. You can pause the video and check this calculation. Next we evaluate roots of this equation using calculator. I see those roots are 32 and 18. So these are the eigenvalues of A transpose into A. Then we find the singular values by simply taking square root of these eigenvalues. Square root of 32 is 4 root 2 and square root of 18 is 3 root 2. They are already in decreasing order. Now to give the decomposition, we consider the diagonal matrix of singular values as follows. So sigma is given by this diagonal matrix with diagonal entries sigma 1, sigma 2 here and other entries as 0. I hope you understood this part. Next, we compute eigenvectors of the corresponding eigenvalues 32 and 18 of the matrix A transpose into A. First, we take case lambda is equal to 32. We put it into the equation A transpose into A minus lambda i into x equal to 0. So, we are subtracting lambda diagonally from A transpose into A matrix from which we get this equation. Now I am going to use a row transformation R2 plus R1 with the help of which we can eliminate entries of second row to 0. Now when we write equation out of this, we get minus 7x1 plus 7x2 equal to 0. Dividing which by 7, we get minus x1 plus x2 equal to 0. There is only one equation in two variables which can be solved by assigning a random value to any one variable out of these two. So here I am assigning x1 is equal to 1. When substituted into this equation, I will get x2 is also equal to 1. Therefore, corresponding eigenvector for lambda is equal to 32 is 1 and 1. Now we find eigenvector corresponding to lambda is equal to 18. For that, we will solve equation a transpose into a minus lambda i into x equal to 0. Here lambda is 18. When substituted, we got this equation. Now I'm going to use transformation R2 minus R1 with the help of which I can eliminate these entries to 0 in this way. So we get equation 7x1 plus 7x2 equal to 0 dividing which by 7 we get x1 plus x2 equal to 0. Once again, we have one equation in two variables which can be solved by assigning a random value to any one variable out of these two. So I am going to assign x1 is equal to 1 and when substituted into this equation, I will get x2 is equal to minus 1. Therefore, corresponding eigenvector is 1 comma minus 1. Now let us proceed for next part. We have seen eigenvectors for lambda is equal to 32 and 18 are respectively 1 comma 1 and 1 comma minus 1. We label them as v1 and v2 respectively. But we want eigenvectors of unit length and they should be orthogonal to each other. I see they are orthogonal to each other because when we take dot product of these two vectors, we get 1 into 1 plus 1 into minus 1, which turns to be 0. But they are not of unit length because modulus of v1, which is under root of 1 square plus 1 square is equal to root 2 and modulus of v2, which is under root of 1 square plus minus 1 square, which is again root 2. 
so to convert them into unit length we will divide them by their modulus so new v1 will be 1 by root 2 comma 1 by root 2 new v2 will be 1 by root 2 comma minus 1 by root 2 now we arrange these vectors column wise to obtain matrix v so your matrix v will be a square matrix with column entries v1 and v2 i hope you understood how to obtain matrix v now we proceed to find out matrix u we know that matrix u's columns ui can be given by the relation ui is equal to 1 upon sigma i into a into vi so u1 is equal to 1 upon sigma 1 into a into v1 but sigma 1 was 4 root 2 a is the given matrix and this was our v1 when i put them together over here and simplified i see u1 is this matrix similarly u2 given by 1 by sigma 2 a into v2 sigma 2 is 3 root 2 a is the given matrix v is this column matrix when put them together and simplified i see u2 is this column matrix now here i see u1 and u2 are both of unit modulus that is modulus of u1 which is under root of 1 square plus 0 square is equal to 1 and modulus of u2 is also equal to 1 since they are of unit length we can proceed to obtain matrix u matrix u is obtained by arranging these ui's column wise so matrix u is now column wise 1 0 and 0 minus 1 next we proceed to write svd of matrix a because we have already found what is matrix sigma what is matrix u and what is matrix v we just have to substitute it into this formula so svd of a is given by this i hope guys you understood this solution we will see one more example here is the second example once again we are asked to find svd of the matrix a as we did earlier we will first compute matrix a transpose into a and we will find its eigenvalues here is the calculation for a transpose into a this is our matrix a transpose into a we will first find characteristic equation of this matrix i find it is lambda square minus trace of this matrix into lambda plus determinant of this matrix is equal to 0 which is lambda square minus 17 lambda plus 16 is equal to 0 after solving this equation i see corresponding eigenvalues are 16 and 1 i wrote them in decreasing order next we will find out corresponding singular values singular values are the square roots of these eigenvalues so first singular value sigma 1 is root of 16 that is 4 and second singular value sigma 2 is root of 1 that is 1 we put them diagonally to obtain matrix sigma so sigma is this diagonal matrix with entries 4 1 along the diagonal and other entries 0 next we proceed to find out eigenvectors of the matrix a transpose a corresponding to eigenvalues 16 comma 1 first we take case lambda is equal to 16 we substitute lambda is equal to 16 into the equation a transpose into a minus lambda i into x equal to 0 which turns into this equation here i am going to use transformation r2 plus half r1 which reduces this equation to this which gives us the equation minus 12 x1 plus 6 x2 equal to 0 which when divided by 6 turns to be minus 2 x1 plus x2 is equal to 0 once again we have one equation in two variables which can be solved by assigning random value to any one variable out of these two so i am going to assign x1 is equal to 1 after substituting which into this equation we get x2 is equal to 2 therefore corresponding eigenvector for lambda is equal to 16 is 1 comma 2 now let us proceed to obtain eigenvector corresponding to lambda is equal to 1 let us substitute lambda is equal to 1 into this equation so we get this new version of the equation i am going to use transformation r2 minus 2 times r1 which reduces this equation to this from this matrix equation we get linear equation 3x1 plus 6x2 is equal to 0 which when divided by 3 turns to be x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 0 
once again we have one equation in two variables to solve this i am going to assign x1 is equal to minus 2 so this turns x2 is equal to 1 therefore corresponding eigen vector is minus 2 comma 1 i hope you understood this part next we calculate modulus or norm of these vectors modulus of v1 is root 5 and modulus of v2 is also root 5 that means they are not of unit length so to convert these vectors to unit length we will divide these vectors by their moduluses so new vector v1 is 1 by root 5 comma 2 by root 5 and new vector v2 is minus 2 by root 5 comma 1 by root 5 we arrange these v1 and v2 column wise to obtain matrix v so matrix v column wise is v1 v2 from this matrix v now we will find out matrix u using the relation ui is equal to 1 upon sigma i into a into vi first we will find out u1 here sigma 1 is 4 a is the given matrix v1 is this column matrix let me put them over here which when simplified we see u1 is equal to 2 by root 5 comma 1 by root 5 let's find out u2 u2 is 1 by sigma 2 into a into v2 sigma 2 is 1 a is the given matrix v2 is this column matrix let's substitute all these matrices and when simplified we see u2 is minus 1 by root 5 comma 2 by root 5 now let us calculate norm of these vectors i see modulus of u1 is 1 and modulus of u2 is also 1 so they are of unit length we can directly put them column wise to obtain matrix u so matrix u is this square matrix with column entries as u1 and u2 now we put matrix u sigma and v into the formula of svd of a which is u into sigma into v transpose to get svd of a i hope you understood this solution now it is your turn to solve some examples this is exercise number one its final solution is given over here this is second one with its final solution i hope guys you will practice these examples at your end please write me in comment box whether you got these solutions or not please also write me how much useful you find this video is till i publish my next video keep watching my videos keep solving these examples thank you all of you thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.